Hey sweetie baby, it's daddy. Daddy's in his new room. Um, daddy give you a look. It's a lot bigger than his old room. And so today, daddy's gonna tell you how to take care of your face. And how to make it stay clean and look pretty. Um, most of this you're not going to have to worry about until you get a lot older. Until you hit puberty and your skin starts producing extra oils and you get acne. But this is still good for you to know and some of it's good for right now and I'll let you know. Okay, so... Okay, this is Daddy's little beauty center. He keeps all his stuff. And so, um, here's what you do for your face. Well, you start with a cleanser. And which one you pick depends on uh, the condition of your skin. If you have oily or dry or normal or whatever. Daddy has a very normal skin, but your mom is more of a, a oily skin, I think. Um, fireworks are going on outside. It's the 4th of July. People are celebrating. Um, so with this, you put it on, and it gets all the sunscreen and excess oils or makeup off. And then you just rinse it off. Um, to take it off, it helps if you use... A microfiber towel, or you can just use napkins. Um, next, after that, it, you'll put on a chemical exfoliants. Um, there's two of them that are uh, in common usage: is BHA which is an acid that penetrates into your pores and it gets all the gunk. It's good for getting out acne and making your, your face look nice. And then there's AHA. AHA it doesn't penetrate the skin. It just gets the stuff that's on the outside. And it doesn't... Um, it's much stronger. Um, it makes your skin even tone looking and nice and smoother. Um, both of them increase the rate at which your skin affoliates, exfoliates, so that makes uh, wearing sunscreen very important. Um, it makes your skin very photosensitive. If you use uh, the AHA in particular, you have to wear sunscreen all the time for a week. So uh, when you're done putting these on, you need to wait. Um, like, ideally you want to wait like 25 minutes. So we'll put on a TV show or something. And you do that because that's how long it takes for the acids to neutralize, to be neutralized by your acid mantle, which is the protective barrier on your face that... Um, I don't know, it keeps stuff out and keeps everything the right pH level. It, um, it regrows. Uh, it takes about seven minutes to regrow a minimal layer and about 25 to 30 minutes for it to be fully regrown. Um, after that, you want to use some, uh, benzoyl peroxide, I think? Yeah benzoyl peroxide um, and also for the, the values on this you want to use 2% uh, any less than that for a BHA silic acid is not going to be effective and for an AHA for a regular use you want to use between you know like 8 and 14% maybe 16 but that's really strong um, Daddy uses these every other day because they, they are pretty strong. Anyway, the, the 
the benzyl peroxide. 10% uh, is a good amount on that. And you just put little dabs on where you have acne, and it'll clear it up in like two to three days. It's really nice. Um, when you're done with that, then you put on a moisturizer. And the moisturizer is, it keeps all the moisture in your face, keeps it looking young and healthy and shiny. Um, it gives it a, a glowing look, a dewy. Um, that a lot of people like. Um, this one in particular is really nice. It has ceramids, which absorb a lot of water. Uh, some people don't like it because it feels heavy, but, you know, daddy likes it. Um, after that, and this is the most important part, is sunscreen. You want to put on a broad spectrum SPF, at least 30 uh, sunscreen. And you want to put that on every two hours because it, it breaks down. Um, what sunscreen you use depends on a lot of things. Um, there's two basic kinds. There's, there's ones that are uh, inorganic, which are made from petroleum byproducts. This one's an inorganic. Um, they resist water much better and they're good for sweating, but they can make your skin look kind of white. Um, some people don't react well to them. Um, they also take about 20 minutes to be absorbed by the skin. So uh, once you put it on, you need to wait. Also, for the moisturizer, you need to wait about 10 minutes for it to absorb into your skin before you put on the sunscreen. A lot of this takes time, so you have to prep and decide what you're going to do and get into a routine beforehand. Um, the other kind is um, organic, and it's got minerals. Uh, titanium oxide or zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is the better one. Definitely look for one of those. You put that on and it works immediately. Um, they don't make your skin look white. They don't stain clothes. Uh, but they they tend to wash off and not resist water as well. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Okay. So that's uh, how Daddy takes care of his face. Um, also, you gotta take care of your lips. Uh, Vaseline is good for that, keeping the moisture in. Um, you gotta use sunscreen on your lips and a moisturizer on your lips too. Um, yeah, Daddy love you, Emmy. Oh, um. Yeah, for right now, you don't have to worry about the exfoliants, the BHA, BHA, and yeah, spot treatments. But you should use a sunscreen definitely every day, every time you go out. And you should use moisturizer if you want. It'll be good. Okay, daddy love you.